want to get back to that breaking news in the trial of Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher. Our cameras were rolling as Gallagher's wife left the courtroom after this morning's stunning testimony. Yeah, a witness for the prosecution said he's the one who killed the ISIS teen fighter who Gallagher is accused of killing. Tanya's reporter Nate Holmes is there live right now. Nate, it appears prosecutors are trying to move past the surprise admission on the stand. Yeah, and just before recess, the second Navy SEAL TC Byrne took the stand. He was wearing a helmet camera when uh, Gallagher first made contact with the ISIS fighter, and he says that he recalls Gallagher saying he's mine over the radio. And just before that, Special Operator First Class Corey Scott took the stand, and he admitted to suffocating the ISIS fighter moments after he was stabbed. Now, after meeting with the prosecution and the defense, this is the first time that these details have been revealed after multiple occasions of them meeting. Now, just before, during cross-examination, he acknowledges that he didn't want Gallagher to go to jail because he is a family man with wife and kids. Gallagher arrived to court this morning with his family by his side. Inside of the courtroom, Gallagher and his wife hugged each other before deliberations. Now, Corey Scott is the first witness to take the stand. He was deployed with Gallagher in Iraq in 2017. Now, during cross-examination, Scott said that he witnessed Gallagher stab the fighter at least once underneath the collarbone, and then Gallagher left moments after. Well, Scott admitted to suffocating the fighter by placing his thumb over his tracheal tube, and he says he did it because, quote, he knew he was going to die and wanted to save him from being harmed and tortured in prison by Iraqis. Now, recess is right now, but testimonies are still underway today. The prosecution says that Scott cannot be prosecuted for his testimony on the stand, but he can be prosecuted for perjury. And, of course, we will have more of the trial coming up in our later show starting at 4 p.m. Live in Naval Base San Diego, Nate Holmes, 10 News. Nate, thank you.